Hi everyone. Let's see today's question. So today's question talks about, it says, what is the largest integer n such that 33 factorial is divisible by 2 raised to n? So today's question is based on the idea of a factorial. You already know that n factorial, I can write it as n, n minus 1, n minus 2, and reducing till 1. So we multiply all the numbers from n to 1, right? So if I have 33 factorial with me, how do I write this? 33, 32, 31, 30, likewise reducing it till 1. So 3, 2, 1, and so on. So basically, we are multiplying all the numbers from 33 to 1. So now it says that what is the largest value of n such that this 33 factorial is divisible by 2 raised to n. So we need to cancel all the possible 2s that are present in this entire factorial or entire product from 33 to 1. So we need to basically find out maximum value or maximum number of twos that I can take out in 33 factorial. So from 33 factorial, we'll find out how many maximum twos I can take out. And that will be my answer because that many number of twos I can cancel from the denominator as well. And so we'll get the maximum value of n, that number of twos I can take out from 33 factorial. Right. So first of all, let's understand. So if you write 33 factorial, you write it as 33, 32, 31, 30 till 1. Right. So if you know all the even numbers will be divided by 2 or will be multiple of 2, whereas all the odd numbers will not be multiple of 2. Right. So what I will do is I'll write first 33 factorial. I'll separate it as all the odd numbers. So these are all the odd numbers which will not be a multiple of two, I'll keep them separate. And other numbers, if I write it in a different bracket, that's multiplied with two, four, six, eight, likewise till 30, 32, right? So all of these even numbers, I have separated them. So what I understand is from two to 32, I have 16 multiples of two. So from each of these multiples of two, if I take out one, two, one, two out, so every number can give me at least one, two out. So from each number I'm taking one, two out. How many multiples are there till 32? 16. So I can take 16 twos out for now. And when I take 16 twos out for now, after that what I'm left with in this bracket is, when I take two common or two out from this two, I'm left with one. From this four, if I take two out, I'm left with two. So 1, 2, 3, 4, likewise, still it will be 16 because there are 16 multiples. And apart from that, we have this entire list of odd numbers. That does not give me any 2 out. Now again, from this 1 to 16, if you see, there will be a list of odd numbers again, which will not contain any 2, like 1, 3, 5, 7, and till 15. And if I separate the bracket of even numbers from this, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, right? So again, from each of these numbers that are present in the even list, and I also have that previous odd numbers list multiplied, so that also does not contain any two. So we do not get any two from this bracket. We do not get any two from this bracket as well. From this bracket, there are eight multiples of two. Each multiple of two will give you one, two. So I'll take out how many twos here. So I can take out eight twos more. So previously we had 16 twos. Now I can have eight more twos present here. Apart from that, we had a list of odd numbers that does not give me any two. Then we had two, four, six, eight till 16. From each of them, if I take out one, two each, so now I'm left with here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So a product of one to eight will be maintained now. And apart from that, we also add one list of odd numbers, which also does not, does not give us any. So again, 
if i multiply all of these odd numbers which are in the brackets you will get a list of odd numbers that is not helpful to us so now from now on we won't write this list of odd numbers because that does not give me any two we just need to find how many twos i can take out so here i have 16 here here i had 8 now from this list how many two how many multiples of two i can find out is four so if i write those list of even numbers again apart from that the entire list was of odd numbers which is of no help to us so if from this four if i again take out two out i can have four twos more so 16 twos eight twos now i have four more twos so now i would be left with one two three and four again these odd numbers are of no help to us let's remove them from this remaining two even numbers i can take again one two and one two each so i can again have two raised to 16 two raised to eight two raised to four two raised to two after that if I take one to common from each of them, I have one and two. Again, this is an odd number, no help to us. So we are left with one more two. So basically, I can write that two as two raised to one. So how many twos I have here? All of them have same basis, so we can add their powers as indices. So 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So how many twos I can take common totally is 16 plus 8, 24, 24 plus 8, 28, 28, 30, and 31. So basically, I can have 2 raised to 31. So the maximum number of twos that I can take out common from this entire 33 factorial is 31. So I can write 33 factorial as 2 raised to 16 into some list of odd numbers that is of no help to us. And when it is divisible by 2 raised to n, means this 2 raised to n cancels this 2 raised to 16, so the maximum value of n I can have here is, sorry, but 2 raised to 16, it was 2 raised to 31. So I'll write, I'll change this. So it becomes 2 raised to 31. So the maximum value of n I can have here, that is 31. So that is option B. So the answer for this question becomes option B. That is maximum value of n I can take out common from this. Right? So there is this method to solve the question as we have discussed. But remember, there is also a shortcut method. If you get a question of this type in JWE mains or advanced, you can you should not do this entirely. What you should do in this case is instead go by this idea. Let's discuss that. Now we know that 33 factorial has to be divisible by 2 raised to n, we need maximum value of n that I can cancel with this 33 factorial, right? So what you do in this type of questions is just divide 33 factorial by 2. Now you already know if I divide 33 by 2, the quotient which we get, you need to always write the quotient in the right space. So this gives us 16. If I further divide it, it becomes 8. If I further divide it, it becomes 4. If I further divide it, it becomes 2, 2, 1, right? So what you get is you have to go on dividing it by 2 because I have to divide it by 2 raised to n until this number becomes less than or this number becomes less than whatever is the divisor. After that, what you need to do is just cancel the first part, add all of the others. So if I add all of the others, you will see 16 plus 8, 24, 24 plus 4, 28, 28 plus 2, 30, and 30 plus 1 is 31. So you get directly the answer of the question which is asked to us. That is maximum value of integer is 31, which will divide 33 factorial by 2 raised to 1. So I can divide 33 factorial by 2 raised to 31. That is the maximum value of the integer. I hope you understood this shortcut trick as well. We will meet again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you found this really helpful. Thank you.